Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tinder router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So the first thing that you will need to do is to turn on your router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into an outlet and the other into the router. When the router is turned on, the power indicator will be lit. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, plug the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem into a special internet port. This port is usually labeled as internet and usually it has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it snaps into place. Now you need to restore the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait until the indicator lights on the router start flashing. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will restart and the settings will go back to their original factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable provided with the router into one of the LAN ports. And plug the other end of the cable into your computer's Ethernet port. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, we've connected the router to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. But first, let me show you another way to connect the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new and hasn't been set up, your Wi-Fi network will be named after the router. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a password. Usually it is admin or password. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. So at the very beginning to launch the setup wizard, click the start button. The router will try to detect your connection type automatically. If it fails to detect it, on the next page, you'll need to select your connection type manually. You can find all this information in your contract with the internet provider. If you're not sure what your connection type is, select this option. It's the most common one. Click the next button. 
Come up with a name for your future Wi-Fi network. Now create a password. The password must be at least eight characters long. On this page, you also need to create a password for logging into the router's admin panel. Tick this checkbox to set the Wi-Fi password as the login password of the admin account, or create a separate password. The router admin password must be at least five characters long. Click the next button. Wait a minute for the settings to take effect. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network using the new credentials. Next, you need to reboot the router. If you haven't been redirected to the router's main menu, click the More button. Here, you can change the language of the router interface. I'll keep it in English. Go to the System Settings menu. Then choose Reboot and Reset. And click the Reboot button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully powers on. Now check if the internet is working. Just try Googling something. If there's no internet connection, you need to try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go again to the system settings menu. Then open WAN settings. Here in the MAC address field, select clone local MAC address. Save the settings. Now you need to reboot the router again. Wait a couple of minutes for it to fully power on. Now check if the internet is working, just try googling something. If there's still no internet at this point, call your internet provider. They will tell you exactly what connection type you have and what other settings you need to apply. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.